Alrighty guys, well, you guys asked for it, so today I'm here to deliver. And one of the things that you guys were asking for specifically was how to unlock your CPU so that it runs at 100% all of the time. Now, the reason why you want to do this is that when your CPU is running at idle, it takes some time to actually fully utilize and ramp back up and use your CPU again. So the idea is that if you disable all of the idle features in Windows, then your CPU can run at its fullest potential and it will dramatically help you in a lot of different games because your CPU isn't fluctuating if a task closes or if a task opens again, it'll still stay the same. It'll always stay at 100%. So it doesn't matter if I'm you know, switching over to a new tab or if I'm jumping back into the game, it'll be still at 100%. And I wanted to make this video specifically with a few different features in mind because you guys are gonna want to know this 100% before you go and do this. This is going to absolutely make your CPU run at a like a very hot temperature right now at idle. So even without playing a game, this is going to make your CPU extremely hot. So make sure that you guys have at least, if not your fans at full speed, at least have some decent, um, let's say heat sink or cooler for your CPU, because this is going to fully unlock it 100%. And that's very useful for people that have a non-K CPU, but it's also dangerous if you don't have the right CPU. You want your CPU to stay below, I would say about 70 to 80 degrees at idle. You never want it to get into the 90 or 100 degrees at idle, because then as soon as you launch a game, it's going to absolutely tank your performance because your CPU is going to downclock itself. And just to show you guys that this isn't a gimmick, so all you have to do, if I just go down to the bottom and I type in command prompt, and then I just run that as the administrator, if I go to here and I go to the deactivate, so I'm just gonna copy this right here, deactivate, set that, and then just hit enter, and then I hit this one as well, and then we go over to here, and then I just click on this and enter it. You'll notice right here, pay attention to this part, the CPU package, that's like the hottest temperature of everything. So that'll give you a rough idea. This is hardware info 64 if any of you guys want to download it. And so then I just copy and paste this into there. And you can already tell, look at that. We just dropped almost 22 degrees off our CPU at idle. And our CPU has returned back to the three to 4% idle usage. So that's why this feature is super important. I will post these commands in the description of this video. But if we go back to the same thing, so we just copy the first one and then we hit that. And then we go back over to here and then we copy that and we hit this. We see that our CPU jumps back up immediately back up to 72 and now our CPU is locked at 100%. You're also going to want to run this command before both of them because this will unlock a certain power plan and that's called ultimate performance. And once you run this command first, you're going to want to go into your power and sleep settings, additional power settings, and then you'll see from this little drop down right here, you'll see the ultimate performance tab. Make sure you have that selected. And if anything goes wrong, guys, and you're like, oh my gosh, my CPU is running at like 100% or 100 degrees Celsius and it's thermal throttling and it's super slow, just change the power plan. If you can't open up the command prompt in time, just open up this tab and then just change the profile. That will deactivate the 100% feature and that should get you guys back to your normal idle state. And that's the video, guys. And what I want to make sure to press is that you guys have a functioning and very efficient cooling system. This is not for the faint of heart. This works on all CPUs. This works on even non-K CPUs. So you can do this regardless of whatever it is that you're running. And so, yeah, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Ask any questions in the comments. I generally try to respond as quick as I can. Um, hit me up on Discord as well if you guys need any help with anything. But yeah, guys, take it easy and have a good one.